Hey, what's going on guys? Message Reverts here, and today I kind of want to hammer in the nail, so to say, about the recent leak on Call of Duty 2017 going back in the past and actually being set in World War II. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this with you guys is because in the video I made previously, I sounded a bit skeptical about the whole leaks because I really wasn't sure if they were in fact legit or not because, I mean, the guy got an email from, uh, from an anonymous person that apparently worked at Sledgehammer or Activision, I don't really know, I heard so many rumors about this guy, so I really don't know what to believe, and I pretty much did have every reason to, you know, kind of be skeptical about the recent images and leaks and stuff like that, so, uh, yeah, but after today, you know, I kind of want to hammer in the nail, so to say, about, like, my final opinion about the leaks and whether or not I think they are legit, but before I do that, you're probably wondering, what is the gameplay I'm showing in the background? Well, this is from Call of Duty World at War for the Xbox 360, but a few months ago, it was actually made backwards compatible with the Xbox One, so with the recent hype over Call of Duty 20. 17, it's actually inspired me to pick up this old game and uh, you know play it a little bit because I never had before My first Call of Duty ever was Modern Warfare 2 which came a year later after this game So enjoy the gameplay in the background guys I do want to apologize for my voice too if I sound stuffy at all in the commentary because uh, you know right now My city just got bombarded with a bunch of pollen so my allergies and sinuses are really messed up right now So I am sorry for that but uh, yeah getting on to the video here guys I do want to say that after two days have gone by I'm about 90 to 95 percent sure that the leaked images of COD World War 2 are legit because for one, the font for WW2 looks custom made to match the COD aesthetic, which is a small detail. Anyone can do that, but most of the fakers don't do this little uh, trick and they don't go into that much detail. And also, the World War II font looks similar to that of Events Warfare's text, so there is a lot of little detail that does, in fact, go a long way here. But I do think Activision or Sledgehammer, one of the two companies, are the ones that generated this leak. I think they're the ones that sent this guy the images. And another little teaser that is kind of funny to me is from Michael Kondry, one of the studio heads over at Sledgehammer. But he changed his bio to Call of Duty MW3AW and then something with four numbers. And a lot of people right now are kind of thinking that the uh, t that the four letters are World War II and that's going to be the next Call of Duty game. So again guys, I'm about 90-95% to 95 sure that these leaked images are legit and the next Call of Duty game will be World War II. But the only reason that I'm not, you know, 100% positive about this is because some YouTubers posted the images in their videos and they haven't been striked yet. So that's the only reason why I'm not sure about this. But I mean, that's still like the only reason why. So uh, again, guys, people haven't been able to find these images from like movies because a lot of people thought that these images were from Saving Private Ryan, a really popular war movie. And uh, they haven't been found in any movie and you think that some of the fakers would got would have gotten these images from like a movie Or maybe another video game or something like that But they haven't been able to find these images anywhere on the internet So that's another reason why people do believe that these uh, images are credible So uh, let me thoughts about this guys down in the comments again I'm about 90 to 95 percent sure that these images are in fact legit Also drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy And I thank you so much for watching I'm a very typical rest of the day Till next time I'll catch you guys later